I want to see him get shot. Uh, speech. Alright. See you, nerds. I was scared of frogs when I was young because my mom told me if I touch them, I'll get warts. So I never. Dude, I, I was told not to touch frogs either because I'd get warts as well. Um. Yeah, frogs, I don't think... If someone told me they could stroke a frog just for fun, I don't know if I would be on board for it. I'd probably just do it, but... In my tier list of ideas for fun, I don't think I would. Shoot, do we screw up the quest again? Why am I so bad at this? Reg, let's talk to you. Yeah. Holy, okay, we're gonna try this one more time. We're just gonna, like, steal the... Steal the, um, the documents. Try talking to Papa, and if that doesn't work, then I'm just, I, I give up. That's it. Alright, let's try. Oh, dang it, Raul! <laughs> Alright, you can come in here, but just don't, don't do that again. Open. Foot locker. Here you go. Carl's journal. Actually, if we're gonna steal, we're gonna steal a lot more. I mean, like, it depends, like, why I had to steal the frog. Oh, here we go. More of my advisors are starting to talk openly of breaking... Oh, try reading the journal first? I wonder where that idea is coming from. Oh, here we go. No. Let me see that. Filthy savages. Huh. Probably have to decimate the lot of them. Are these the words of our friend, Caesar? Yeah. Break cons. Drive Caesar's dog out of our camp. Yeah. If he's too slow to flee, Perfect. kill him. I mean, if someone like, had a gun to my head and told me to touch a frog, I'd probably do it. <laughs> oh boy. I'm gonna help myself to Carl's stuff afterwards. I hope that's okay. All four of my most trusted advisors have told me we should break our alliance. Maybe I should hear um, that after all. If someone offered me like a bag of skills to touch a frog, I would probably go ahead and do it. I, I'm just saying, like, I, like if, if there's a frog right there in nature, I probably wouldn't touch it, but I don't think I need a lot of incentive to go touch the frog. I've heard some things from my most trusted gods. It makes me wonder whether this alliance is a good idea after all. But I want to leave a legacy of greatness when I die. My tribe deserves better than this, cowering in a canyon and living on scraps. Tell me then, if I don't join the Caesar's Legion, where will I find my tribe? Where are you finding his tribe's lost glory? Um... Claim your own glory. No nah, man. You try to spell something, claim your own glory. There you go. Well spoken, traveler. Well spoken indeed. Perhaps yeah. it's time to find our own destiny, unburdened by the past. We'll begin readying the camp to move. As soon as Caesar makes his move, we'll depart. We will make ourselves strong again. There you go, we did it. We helped him. That sounds wise. I wish you the best. If you should ever tire of wandering alone, seek us out. Sick. I have been accepted. All right, cool. So now that's done. Uh, what can we do? Hard equity number. Um, I don't know if we can do that anymore. I don't want to do that. Teach Jack new chem recipes. Can't do that. Recon, no. Where is the um um the quest to find the missing runners? All right, no, that won't do anything. Try to source the Saturday invitation. Um, huh. Old World Blues? You think I should do Old World Blues? I don't think I'm a high enough level to do Old World Blues. I want to, though. I can't. I'm just not strong enough. Uh, I guess we could do the... Um, I guess we can do back in the saddle. That seems like fun. I thought I had more quests though. I don't want to go to Nipton yet. I want to think I can take on Nipton. You done dead mice at level seven before and that's supposedly harder. I mean, all right, sure, we'll go to um fine, you know what? 
you know what? We're gonna do um We'll do We'll do uh old world blues. No, don't you you can't do man. You egged me on to do first or old world blues. You did this to yourself. No, okay. Okay, maybe we won't though. We'll do the first quest, okay? How about we'll do the first quest and then we'll think about it? Yeah, well, I mean, I, I do want to do Oral Blues, though, 100%. Actually, no, hold on. We can talk to the man in the shack. Let's do that first. We don't need to go back to the saddle. That's, that's silly. Um, Where do we need to go? Yeah, I need to find more quests, really, is what I need to do, but we'll get there eventually. Yeah. Go punch some fools, so that'll be pretty good. I think that Maz in the chat. Yeah, no, because what happens is, I, like, I woke up in Great Good Springs, and I decide, no, nah, I don't... Dead my age... Oh, I... That's the thing, um... Dead Money was incredibly easy with the, um, unarmed character, because they take, like... The one thing I liked about being the unarmed character is that, uh... Every time they take away your weapons, you're like, great, I don't really care, like, I'm fine with that. Okay. Welcome back to chat. Yeah, I just like playing an unarmed character. It's nice. I was telling people at work that I was playing New Vegas as an unarmed character, and they're like, dude, you're crazy, man. Like, how could you do an unarmed character? I'm like, because punching things is fun. I'm a simple man by nature. All right, show me how to survive in the wild. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Yeah, let's do it. How do I survive in the desert? Yeah. I don't know how to survive in the desert, even though I have a cool companion already. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after uh, done to you. Yeah, no, what I did, uh, I went to black mountain at like level six or level seven i had a really hard time i was like dude i need to get rowl as soon as possible all right so we'll just follow her to the back i guess we'll do the tutorial quest after um all the shenanigans and free side what level am i in? i think i'm level 12 right now oh level 11 we're almost level 12. yeah dude i was like i need rowl like first thing and i got him and i think it was a wise decision making move on my part that, that came out jumbled where is oh here she is all right now see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there take this and try to hit a couple of them where are the sarsaparilla bottles oh here they are okay well i guess we have to change our weapon then just to make her happy which fine i'm fine being a people person weapons um what's she even give me she probably gave me a varmint rifle. Oh, I think this is it. What's why? Oh, how come I can't aim? What? That's the right idea. Look down the side. Oh, it's because I'm probably in. Uh... There we go. I was in third person. Well, All right, cool. I really suck at aiming. To me to learn to fight oh, she already equipped it. Third person yeah, aiming is kind of missed. Yeah. Water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Sure. I think I've learned enough. Uh, sure, whatever. We'll just do it. Maybe we'll get more fame. All right. Also, we don't need this anymore. That's um, nah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have three people, a dog, to hunt down some uh. Some geckos, I love it. Is that Victor? Oh, nice. <laughs> also, that dog is floating gracefully. What a nice dog. And I don't see the geckos anywhere. Oh, it's pretty nice out right now. As far as the atmosphere. And see, I think that's part of the reason why I like New Vegas more than um, Fallout 3. Because New Vegas feels more kind of like the uh, the Wild West. Which I really like. It kind of feels like you're kind of a cowboy. If anything, whereas Fallout 3, I like a lot of like, debris and broken rubble. Whereas New Vegas, like even though like it's still like barren and empty, it, there's still... There's less like rubble, which I think makes it look cleaner. Also, where am I going? Again, I'm 
Too busy talking about myself. Oh, we're supposed to follow her. Okay. I guess I'm just being impatient. Excuse me. The other thing, too, I like about New Vegas is they don't have the subway system. I didn't really care for that for we got Fall 3. To clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. So this is a stealth segment. I have zero intentions to stealth. I, um... Stealthing is not something I do in any game at all. Like, when I played Metal Gear Solid, my plan for stealth was to, um... Uh, we'll let Raul take care of this. Alright, good job, Raul. <laughs> yeah, the subways just weren't good. The dog is cute. Oh, let's talk to you. See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth sure, I need more caps. Shouldn't take more than a... Come with... Alright, well, we can probably just like, walk and let Raul take care of it. But yeah, the subways weren't, like, great. Like... They were fine, but it was, like, it was closed and cramped in subways. Like, urban environments are okay, but typically speaking in video games, I'm not a huge fan of urban environments. I think partly because, like, they feel overdone. It, wow, Raul is really making this quest easy. I'll just let them take care of it. Because if you think about, like, in most games, like, I think more often than not, you're more likely to see a, um urban environment. So I guess... One, like, for the, like, where I live right now, it's like, I live in this, like, a city, so I'm used to seeing an, um, urban environment, where it's like, you can, like, see, like, I think for me, for video games, when you see environments that you're not used to seeing in, um, like, in your present life, that's more, I guess, meaningful. What, is those Legion? What's Legion doing all the way out here? Probably in some ways, it's hard to see any progress. Harry looks exactly the same, especially when he's multiple level. Yeah. Oh, you're a good spring settler. Okay. What? What? What do you mean about the great cons? Holy moly! I came up here to drop. Okay, I'm excited by good springs. This is good. Now that was some good work. Yeah. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Yeah, subways weren't... Well, see, and that's, I think, for Fallout 3, like, for most of the game. Show. Like, it doesn't feel... Because, like, you're in the... Uh, not the DC area. Uh... Yeah. I'm heading back. Hey, should we... Alright, um... So that's cool. Go meet Tree and the Prospector at the Saloon. Um... Even, like, so, like, Fallout 3, like, the, like every time you get in your city, it felt very like samey whereas i think new vegas like i guess basically uh right on your point that you're saying everywhere in new vegas feels pretty distinct like you, like obviously you have this trip but even like say going to like ncr buildings versus like legion buildings like, that feels very distinct too and the other thing too is just um follow three very, felt very binary in the sense like oh you have good guys versus bad guys whereas for here like there's four different endings you can do and then you have all the different clans and tribes and stuff that you can make relationships with them which is more how real life works out i guess and i think there's just more of a dynamic to it which i can really appreciate and then like for follow four they had the same idea and also i don't know if you played fall four you guys but um so i won't say any spoilers but same idea they had different factions which i i liked it but i think my complaints for fallout 4 were um probably gameplay related rather than story like if fallout 4 played like new vegas i think i would have liked it a lot more I'm done being nice. huh. if we don't hand Ringo over soon, oh that doesn't look good my friends, and we're burning this town much for that my favorite question is great why i've closed society on strip now i've never played 4 yeah, I need to do the White Glove Society. I've never um, done that. Well, yeah. you've been causing quite a stir. Glad yeah. I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. White Glove Society. Is that the one of the cannibals? Because I don't think I've ever done that quest. I want to do it this playthrough. Yeah. I overheard your argument. What was that all about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, so I guess... Eventually, I'll make my way to the strip. Traitor Ringo comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. 
we figured he was 